Hello friends, how's it going? It's your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Animal, Age of Sail, the American Campaign. Normal land and sea difficulty along with adaptation, which is scaling. Now these are the last two land battles, but on this land battle, it's interesting that we can um, go to it. Usually land battles, you don't, you don't get a choice here, but here we can go fight the power. And we'll bump it up to 73,000, and of course I'm losing uh, about 47,000. So anyways, we're going to get right into this. This one's going to be a tricky battle because of the simple fact that they're going to have a ton of infantry. And I'm only bringing in two merchants. And that's that. So anyways. So there's the two merchant ships. And then we'll go in with... And that's that. All right, now you can see this situation here, which is ridiculous. All these units are going to get totally wiped out. I mean, this is ridiculous. So let's look at this. So they have a, they have a mortar, artillery, artillery. Yep, so just kind of figure out what the best way would be to attack these guys. Because these guys are going to get swallowed up. But anyways, okay, well that's that's what we're looking at right there. So, it is what it is. Can't do nothing about it. Yep. They're all going to get, they're all going to get wiped out. We don't even have our first ship across the line and they and they already they're already given up. It's yeah, they're all wiped out. Okay, so um, I don't know if I want to go super fast with this because this 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 negotiating through here is kind of tricky. They're gonna say it's shallow, and and sometimes the ships get stuck. They turn around. If you make, do one click, they all might click and then turn and do all kinds of weird stuff. So we're going to have to take a moment here to try to guide these guys to where I want them. Like this ship, I want over here, but if I tell it to go over here, it's going to hit this and then it's going to get in trouble. Yeah, it's already probably going to try to do something stupid. I got to just guide this in just right. See, it's already given us shallow. Yep, look, 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 look. I'm already lost control of the ship. Do you see how stupid this is? Oh my gosh. Come on. 
Do you see that? That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. They should be able to go through the channel. I mean, they, they should not get stuck. My goodness. She almost went that way. That's what I'm saying. You can't really click where you want until you get over there because otherwise these ships are going to screw up. So, so do you see that? So just be careful of that when you're doing this. Unbelievable. Now, can I put it right there? Without it doing something stupid. Okay, let's see. Nope, see this one's al this one's already turning. All right, I'm going to tell that one to anchor, anchor, anchor. 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 I mean, the this is re I don't I don't like this at all. Anchor. Man, unbelievable. They're going to end up turning different ways and getting stuck and all that. That that was something else, boy. I, that's why you do not want to go fast through here. That's unbelievable. All right. Okay, so now i got to figure out the plan here. I don't think I want to split my, my troops on either side. Like, I, I hope I can land everybody here. But it's going to take a while, so just be a little patient or speed the video up if you want. Yeah, I'm doing this very gently because I do not want any of these ships to move. So I don't want any accidental cl clicks or anything because otherwise the ship will end up hitting the shore and, and just end up getting stuck. I mean, th that's why this this one I don't like the way this is, like with the way the current is and the way the channel is so thin. You saw a couple of ships almost did something really stupid. Oh man, I still got more over here, okay. Well, we're gonna find out if we can land everybody over there.
All right, we gotta get these guys moving. All right, it's going to take a moment to set it up all, so I guess we can go a little bit faster now that we're not near the ships. I just got to see if I can land everybody. Yeah, and I think that'll be everybody. But they gotta, they gotta land somewhere, right? Come on, I'm just trying to get Cobb. All right, Cobb made it. Hey, and Gary made it. All right, ver all right, very good, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Finally. All right, I think that will be everybody. I was going to bring a unit over here to see if we can see anything. That maybe the ships could shoot at them. Well, this was going to be an experiment, but I don't know if, uh... Yeah, this was just, this is just an experiment at the very moment. <laughs>
Yeah, this is just, like I said, this is just an experiment. Like, I mean, I... I was hoping maybe we can get some spotting so the ships could do a little something. But of course they're going to throw units at us. And we're going to get hit by our own ship, so I mean... He's gone. Okay, so now if the skirmisher is in here to spot, how can that artillery see us, right? Like, if I can kill off any of their units before approaching them, you know that they have all 320 man units right over there. Okay, so now we're going to just try to see at where can we see if we can see the enemy. Now, they're probably going to have some units scattered around here. Yeah, see, their artillery is hitting us, but we don't see it. Oh, man. All right, if we see that gun, I'm going to tell those two ships to shoot at it. Now they might not be able to hit it because of all the housing and stuff, but we're going to give it a try. That's not good. Uh, this ship actually struck them, but it killed like about... 20 of our guys. Man. That sucks. Not what I was intending.
Yeah, I just can't believe we can't see anything. <laughs> Oh, it's a mortar! Yeah, it's a mortar. Man, why is friendly fire hitting us? Hey, this ship ain't supposed to be moving. Alright, move over here then. Get a better shot on him. Yeah, this ain't working right at all, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look what we gotta do to try to kill this one mortar right here. But if we can kill the mortar, that's really good. Because then they'll only have three artillery. Now what I could do is I'm gonna tell this, this ship to stop shooting. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm doing it this way, folks. Just be patient, I guess, or just speed the video up to the end, I guess. I mean, I, I'm being bad with Thompson here. Thompson's been killed by the ship more than the what the enemy could do to him. I mean, he... he if, I, if I could click on him, yeah, look. He's got 115 losses. I mean, and that's that's mainly he probably got five from the enemy, and the rest is all from the ships. But I mean, I think it'd be a big deal to take out the mortar. Cause they're gonna have infantry all around here. Plus they got three artillery. And with that mortar hitting us like, you know, shooting up and then down on us, that can really, that can really do some damage to us. So, so, if, so if we can knock this out, and all I did was sacrifice one unit, but I, I shouldn't sacrifice him. But like I said, he lost nearly a hundred guys just from our ship alone. Because I, I couldn't do it in such a way that he could spot and then they could hit the enemy. They had to, they had to shoot over him and they, and they just hit him. He's down to 16. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is just, I mean, it's, you'd, you'd think it'd be, you'd think even this ship should be able to hit. Hey, now I can hit him because my guy ain't over there. So let's see if that guy can hit him. Yeah, I mean, I might have to take the guns off and just have him go over here and take them out himself. I don't know, because we're not getting a good ratio here, like... Hey, the mortar was shattered. All right, excellent. All right, so let's let's go ahead now that the mortar is gone. Let's see if we can we can put him in a position where we could spot some of them. All right, well, hey, if we can knock out that supply wagon. And I'm in a, and you know what? I wonder, he's over here to supply some units, right? So with these rounds hitting here, we might be get doing collateral damage. We might be doing collateral damage to some of the units around here. We 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 just we just don't see it, right? Look at all the rounds hitting right here and he's right here. So I I know this is boring to watch, but I just know that they have so many 320 man units that, you know, I've already lost 100 guys on that unit that I used for spotting. But, but I think, I think, like I said, we're not seeing it, but the flag is right here. And so the rounds hidden here has to be hitting something that we don't see. And now he's he's gone. He's gone. So yeah, so so maybe maybe I can move him to here. Now I know they have three artillery. Alright, so you can see that the mortar has been destroyed, so we don't get no mortar, but we do get fifteen on the supply, so that'll be there. So that's nice. But I don't see anything else, so I got to figure out how, how what's the best way of of telling him to move around to see if we can see something. I mean, I could try to go to here maybe. But I I got to watch out for all these rounds here that like, I don't want to kill off the unit, but I, I, I want to do some spotting. Alright, we now see that gun. Well, we did. Well, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if this ship can hit that. And if he just stays here, we can at least maybe blow this guy off the line here.
So you know all these guys were 320, so they've they lost a few, because you can see some of the rounds right here that hit. And look, they can't see him. Look, where, he's, where he is, they can't see him. But I, I'm afraid to turn this one on because it might hit him. Like... But maybe I could hit that. Maybe I could tell him to hit that. Let me see. I just don't want him to hit my guy. So we're going to see if either of these ships, as long as they don't hit my guy. We'll have to see. Yeah, it's too bad I couldn't get Javia to turn in the right way, you know, but yeah, oh well, it was worth a try. Because cause, cause he'd be able to shoot straight here at them, you know what I mean, if, if I could just have him in the right spot. But, I mean, this is not effective because they're not, they're not really hitting that area too good, but... But maybe I could I could I could hit them with my artillery over here. Oh, the cavalry spawned right here. The cavalry spawned right onto my mortar. Darn it. That was a spawn. That that sucked. Yeah, the, the cavalry actually went, the dragoon actually went after my mortar. My mortar got off and fought him. And they had these units around here, so we totally wiped out their dragoons. Oh no, it was my artillery, not my mortar. But anyways, my mortar's right here. Alright, well, t we're, g we're probably going to lose Thompson. Alright, so we might as well do the attack then. I mean, this was just a little bit of fun, but uh, try to get it. I think I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, oh no, there's a,
Well, I ain't gonna get Thompson to get over here because that unit is after him. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to... Uh. All right, we're going to get back to normal speed now, and we're going to, I guess we're going to do the battle, I guess, because um, I'm going to have to keep Thompson here. I mean, I, was, I wanted to run him over here to get on a lifeboat, get back on a ship, because, you know, he, he sacrificed a lot. So now I was hoping to do the rest of this battle in a way of... Seeing if we could knock out their guns, but... Oh, look at that supply wagon. Now this, now this, oh, come on. Where's the unit that's over there? Ready. All right, we got we got a s prisoner. Luckily, now we can do some spotting with it. Okay, great, good benefit right there. Let's go ahead. Let's move that prisoner up. I can see, so that spy wagon was coming down here to, to give him some ammo.
Oh my goodness. Yeah, so uh, if you remember, I'll talk about this while we're trying to eliminate this uh, unit right here. Um, just remember, at some point, they're going to spawn uh, a Dragoon over here. So that that was, you know, he landed right on my, I think it was my artillery. But he land, he spawned amongst all of us, so we wiped him out. So that was that, that was in a good way, but... Nonetheless, Yeah, and see what the AI does? They go after small units. Well, I was coming over here because I wanted to see if I could find their supply wagon. Where did he go? Yep, came after. This is why you don't want any units behind your lines. Because they, they attack the artillery. Man. Yep, boy. Man. All right, finally that guy shouted. Man. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not even... I'm not even getting to do what I wanted to do, which is start to attack on this because of these these guys. You gotta you gotta keep an eye on them, otherwise they'll wipe out your artillery and stuff. You know what I mean? Like we cannot 
you always got to kill units that roam because they will do mischief amongst your your group here so now i have to yeah finally yay finally my goodness all right guys over there for now you stay by the artillery just in case any more of that crazy stuff goes on all right now what i wanted to do was I wanted to take the prisoner and he's gonna go forward here to, to see what he can see. I wanna see if there's anything else over here. I already sacrificed one of my units. Look at this. Oh, come on, there's got to be something around here. We couldn't have killed them all. Well, Well, we must have destroyed the uh, supply wagon. Oh well. Yeah, it looks like it's right there, but we can't get it. Oh no, because I'm using a few. I mean, I'm using a prisoner. That's why we can't get it. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't grab it. Oh. <sighs> Okay, yeah, right. I was just using... Uh, boy, I got confused there for a minute, folks. That is so funny. Don't you think that's funny? Yeah, I just wanted him to spot... Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if we could probably come over here to do this. I mean, I don't know. They have to have more units than this. All right, I think we could probably... Well, it looks like two artillery shattered.
So if, if two artillery shattered, then that means they only have one one artillery left because they lost they lost a mortar over here. So technically, I think we could we could probably take this now. I mean, I'd have to look and see. Other than that one unit that I took some serious damage with. By letting the ship do whatever it can do. Alright, I think uh, what we can do now is probably shut the ship off because we have artillery. Because if I, if I go any further, I'm going to get too many uh, losses from my own ships. So I think we can shut them off. So I guess I don't need that that guy to spot anymore. Alright, we better get back to normal speed. This is crazy. Looks like they still have one more artillery though. I still got guys all over the place. Alright, well, we got it.
Okay, we gotta go find that artillery. Okay, I'll tell you, it's uh, a disappointment. They don't, they don't have a, they don't have a supply depot. Got a lot going on here. Oh, you want to definitely get that supply wagon. <laughs> he thought he was going to get the supply wagon, but I had this marine shoot at him. And now the fusel and the marine will shoot at him. And this guy go over there to stop him. Oh, uh, that was funny. Alright, we still got this guy over here messing around with us. A uh, skirmisher right there. And a fusler. So he'll go against my marine.
Come on, guys. Find these guys. Alright, so Fuselers against Marine and Fuselers. Like I said, folks, I know it's taking a long time, but you know what I mean. I was hoping not to take a whole bunch of losses, so I was trying to use my ships in a way that would kill a lot of them off, so it probably made the video boring, but... And then we don't like these individual units, so we're going to try to kill them off, and doing all that delayed the battle and made it longer but whatever I mean this is the way it goes and that's all I can say about it yeah come on why is it so hard to just kill these guys off all right you're gonna have to hold yeah see he doesn't have any condition but the fusilla has condition Yeah, so I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm disappointed there's no depot here, you know, for, for ammo. Like, I don't know if the enemy used it all or it just doesn't show up as, as a depot. Do, 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 do any of you think it's just an oversight? They didn't put a depot here? I mean, usually you'd see a depot and it would say, like, a certain percentage of ammo left, but this is just a flag right here. And look at these skirmishes are down. Are, are down. Okay, that, that one's dead. That's dead. Now we just go over here and kill this one. And of course, where did he go off to? Oh, there he is. Uh, oh, an another cavalry unit. Unless that's the same one. Again, they say to hold. To hold. Oh. Uh, okay. Hey, so... So the cow so the dragoon was the last unit. <laughs> so did they have one dragoon or two? Because I thought we already killed one. So I wonder if they had two, unless that other one didn't get killed and he ran off. Like I don't know. That was kind of funny, but okay. So let's take a look at this. 
This is what I brought to the battle. This is what I lost. And this is what was there, the French or whatever, and or Spanish, whatever they were, I don't know. And they lost, you can see right here. And so they, they had this amount here, but like I said, uh, it, it was a little tricky there. But you got a whole mobile, so we got it. We killed them all off. Oh yeah, so okay, so check it right out here. They did have two dragoons. They did have two dragoons. Because one spawned on top of us, and that other one spawned on the other side, I guess. So maybe they spawned one on each side. That's the only thing I can think of there. So yeah, I mean, all in all, what can I say? Lost. I, I don't know what that means, but whatever. Well, we managed to capture that. Hey, so we got... Now, considering they did not have a supply depot, they were counting on their three supply wagons. So their supply wagons are, are 10,000, so you can see... Uh, they they sucked up like half of the am more than half of the ammo on all three of these. Wow. So it looks like we got a lot of stuff like different guns and stuff a whole bunch because captured. So the enemy had these guns. You know these. And these. Yeah, well. All right. It's a victory. And, you know, I only lost about 600 or whatever it showed. What I can't even remember right now, but that wasn't too bad, I don't think. Figure about 100 from each ship that went into the battle, maybe? And that poor first unit that I used for spotting, uh, he got he, he lost a hundred guys just by his own ship. But anyways, that was that. A friend indeed. Seventy-three thousand, eighteen reputation, and one career point. And we already maxed out crew healing. Oh, we might as well just put one here for the heck of it. Alright, so the next battle is another land battle, and this is the last battle that's land, so after this one, it's just two sea battles left, and then the whole campaign's over. And we only need four ships. Okay, well. All right, let's take a look at the ships, make sure they got officers.
Oh, if I only need four ships, then who's going to be in the battle? Alright, so I guess Fenwick and Vishala will be in the battle. Okay, I think that's uh I think that's what we'll do. We've got uh got the two transports ready and we also have two ships ready for the for the last land battle. Um I mean I guess I could put I guess I could put 82 guys on here. Yeah, that's that's about it. I guess I'll just use two 144 gunships and these these two merchant ships for the next battle. Alright folks, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Uh, you know, I'm sorry if the, the part of that battle was boring for the way I did it, but you know what I mean? Uh, I didn't lose many guys, like maybe four or five hundred guys, whatever that I lost doing it that way so and I wiped out and I got a wipe of the enemy so and I got a victory so you know that's the way it is like you get a victory you enjoy it so I enjoyed it but anyways no matter where you are in the world have a great day or a great afternoon God bless you and your own religion take care of yourself be kind to others always this is your friend Jeff signing out adios amigos and adios the lovely amigas